Hello, monsters of Anakin, and welcome back to Total War Pharaoh. Almost said Warhammer. Pharaoh, and the second part we of the Ramesses campaign. Uh, I kind of just like, just admire, admire the beauty of some of these bits in them. I mean, this is really nice. Like, it's genuinely absolutely gorgeous, this map. I love it. I love the, 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 the sort of details they put into the map are absolutely gorgeous. And uh, the map itself looks fucking amazing. It's a shame we'll only use this portion of it. <laughs> uh, I'm not even joking. But it looks... It looks really nice. Um, I, I just... I think there's like maybe... Is there like a tint that you can do on Troy maybe that makes it a little bit more sort of like poppy? Like you get that in uh, Three Kingdoms, don't you? Where there's two like two different... You get the... Um, the romance and the the records since the records one just basically dull and uh, the romance one is a bit more sexy because uh, that's what romance is that's right if you're trying to romance someone just wear nicer colors i guess we'll do it so the enemy is once again just charging straight at us which is fine by me because it makes my life significantly easier general is under attack Oh, he's fine. I was actually trying to pause the game at this point, but I couldn't because uh, you can see this development in progress. Mutz is bound in the little ID there so they can, you know, make sure no one's leaking anything. Um, that was in the way, and apparently it takes precedence over what's behind it. So I was trying to click it, and it just wasn't doing anything. That, that actually made me just zoom over there. But yeah, that's, that's how that works. So I was trying to pause it, and it just was not pausing. So I concentrate missile fire on the enemy missile units, trying to bring them down, stop them from doing so much damage to us, and then we can concentrate our missile fire on the enemy. Uh, of course, there's no there's no blood at the moment, which is a shame. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that guy got his, like... Wow, it's not your day, is it? You're missing an eye and you've got an arrow in the shoulder. That's, uh, that's rough. You are quite buff, though, so I guess that's, you know... Swings and roundabouts, isn't it? No. Eh? One of the things that was quite vaunted during the battle preview was the weather effects. And um, I'll be honest, they're very forgettable. So for the moment, it's just dry weather, so it doesn't affect anything. And I don't think there's anything upcoming either. Um, but even in, like, rain and stuff, I don't really think it changes the way I'm planning on playing. Um, I mean, it might make it a little bit harder, but I never really have an issue. You know, I never really go, oh, well, I'm not going to do this because it's, you know, raining or something. I guess the sandstorm, because you... you Oh, everyone's taking damage during a sandstorm. So I guess if maybe, you know, your units are healthier than the enemies, you may just go, I'm just going to sit back here and let them slowly die from sandstorm. And it will be very slow. But, you know, it will happen. Javelins, once again, I fucking love these lads. These lads. These guys. These boys. Best boys. Getting lots and lots of kills. Can I flank around again? Seeing as we can see that uh, I can't even get all like the units um, lit up like I can in Warhammer, unfortunately. All it does is just lights up the units. My units, does it? I guess it does. Not just those guys for some reason. I don't know. It's early access. Anyway, so uh, this is us here. This is the enemy. We're going to shoot a lot of javelins into the flank of these guys. And that is going to sting. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, they're on a bad time. I think these are our Med J boys. Which is nice. And there we go. We've got a bit of a rout happening there. And the enemy are broken. Well, I mean, wasn't that hard, to be honest. 
This is part of a new empire. Yes. I guess, anyway. Okay, so we have a little Egyptian fort here. So we can actually put some units in there. Should we should we want to? Uh, we've got an Egyptian trading post. Right, so Ramesses, the bold. We are going to go and take this stuff because I want it. Some bronze, potentially some other stuff. Maybe it's gold settlement down there. Um, we still haven't... The only stone settlement i found so far is this one. And uh, that is slightly concerning. There is a bronze up here and a gold. But, oh, no, 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 no. I stand corrected. There is a stone right here. But oh, I don't, I, I'm, we're being raided down here. So I feel like I need to, like, you know, respond to that. My name will be Legend. We need I'm, more blades. I don't think anyone can pronounce your name, mate. I'm sorry. I, you know, it's just, it's just not happening. Okay, let's upgrade this. How much stone we have? Oof. Okay, that's fine. No, wait. I was gonna hang on. I was gonna do something, wasn't I? What was I gonna do? I was gonna build this one when I had five. Right. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. I've got a little commandment here, though. Uh, people are, yeah, not happy. So I could do organized festivities. Just give it a little boost. And again, let's, uh, let's save that. Let's save the, the thing. The other thing I thought about, if you run out of stone, if you run out of stone and you manage to capture a stone settlement, if that settlement doesn't have any resource production buildings, <laughs> Effectively, that settlement makes no stone. <laughs> so, I guess you could trade for stone if you can find someone with stone to trade with. But I've, I found after like turn, I want to say ten ish, uh, no one has anything to trade. So it's basically like some people have bronze and food to trade, and that's about it. I'm assuming that's just because you've got so much food to start off with. Uh, so we've got more food production. That's good. Okay, okay, okay. That's not it's not bad, is it? It's fine. We're doing something. It's happening. Destined we are going to. Okay, I want to. How do I take? Really? That's the. That's the quickest way. Are you sure? You can go across this. I mean, okay. You, yeah, you will. You will die of the desert. But I mean, that's not the worst thing, is it? I guess you can't go as far in the desert. I guess. Well. Mm, yeah. Okay. Let's go there. Egypt's glory. Let's go there. I don't like what you're up to. In the name of duty, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. I mean, you actually don't... You actually quite like me. You don't like my war with the purple people or the... the I think it's a duck or maybe a dog. I can't remember. Again, I don't know why you've got... I don't know why you're so shitty about that, but apparently that is a, that is a thing. Um, oh, wait, that's you. Did I have... Did I have a past war with you? I don't think I did. Or at least, I don't remember it. Apparently I must have. Okay, never mind. Uh, construction... Event. No, I'm going to save all the money. No, not money. Uh, growth. That's what we're doing. We're saving the growth. So, how much growth do we have? Uh, four. Right. One more turn. One more turn. And we'll have enough growth. It's going to cost 50 monies. But I think that's probably worth it. I think that's worth it. We've got a royal decree available as well. Uh, I mean, I would like more stone. More wood. I mean, everyone loves wood. Construction time reduction. Construction time reduction. A deep-rooted friendship. Because <laughs> it's trees. I mean, bronze production. If there's anything to do with... What about... Hang on, let's look for food. Okay, that seems to have worked really well. <laughs> uh, oh, there's food. All right, we'll go with that one then. We'll get some kind of charm offensive and then uh, more food. Weirdly, it seems to get like a lot more resources during collapse and I don't know why. Kind of like the opposite of a tiller, isn't it? Where you got less food. I'm wondering if maybe because I've never actually got my hands on a non-port food settlement, so I'm wondering if it's like something like the farms give less. So maybe I fuck knows. I don't know. 
I do need stone. I'm going to get strength in stone. Let's do that. Ramesses. Yeah. Um, what about if I raid? Uh, that is going to... What treasures await? Okay. To victory! How much, how much resources does this give us? It does give us 64 stone, which is quite nice. Ever ready. Hard march ahead. Uh, I think I think we need to. Oh hello. I'll take point. Uh, I'm just going to ignore you. Bye. Oh god, you got 17 lads. Son of Canaan. I mean, they're garbage lads, but you got 17 lads in there. Holy shit. That's 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 that's. Every soldier counts. He does. Yes. That is a thing. Right. Um, let us build this. Oh, 675 stone. Fuck me. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to kill these seven, 17 lads. Um, with any luck. You're still there. So we got... For Okay. Growth has increased. Lovely. That is good. Let's upgrade you. Do you take stone, actually? Let's have a look. You take 70 stone. Um, yeah, so stone... Where's stone? Where's this? There you are. So these guys have resources. They the stone settlements have like a cap on them, and once that is depleted, so it mines out those resources. Once that's gods. depleted, you then have to. Uh, it, well, it gives you it gives you like ten percent of the total. I think it is. Do I kill these guys first? I think I have to. Yeah. Will yield. I'm going for you. I'm coming for you. I mean that looks like a pretty easy battle. Eat it. Eat my axe. My, my sexy destiny. axe. I grow stronger each day. Boundless ambition. Indeed. Right. I want a bird. And then I can get rid of you. And equip you. I always think I have to drag it and I don't. Do not, do not have to drag it. Right, that means we can then go for you guys. Which wipes out your army. Assuming I can kill all these guys. Because there is a garrison on top of a stack. Well, I say almost a stack here. I'm sure it's fine. Well, they've got certainly quite a lot of units they can throw at us. So in this battle, they've got a temple, which is going to heal them 10 hit points per second, which is uh, going to make the enemy army fairly tanky. I'm assuming that's, like, map-wide. Units in the vicinity. Oh, it's only units in the vicinity. So, I mean, to be honest, you'd be pretty off, like, just holding back here, trying to protect that. Um... You know, some settlements have a tower, some have a temple, some have a, a spring. Um, quite what dictates that, I genuinely don't know. But, you know, there we go. So the enemy are charging me once again, and I am shooting them in a little choke point there. Obviously making my life a lot easier. And there's, well, significantly more filled with arrows and stones, I guess. So piling on the damage and uh, looking at the losses there, we are definitely getting some kills, which is pretty good. In case you'll notice a little, uh, little arrow there, the little uh, warning triangle, meaning that I'm getting less than like 30, 30 FPS. And I will say that uh, big battles like this, I do. I, I think it tends to be when there's a big crush of people. I'm assuming because they're all sort of like trying to work out how the fuck to get around each other. It gets better when they're all dead. So, looking at enemy numbers, uh, they're dropping quite rapidly thanks to the obscene amount of uh, ammo I'm currently pounding into them. 
quite a few units being broken and retreating. And they all say they outnumber me easily about, yeah, it's about two to one, to be honest. So it's going to be quite, quite a brutal engagement. Managed to get a few surrounds there early on, but uh, this is going to turn into a massive choke point. Still trying to whittle them down with that mass fire, and I mean, it is working. We've killed over a thousand of them already. Uh, our losses are fairly light so far. I think they will get, they get extra. Yeah, so they will get extra morale. So that's going to help them hold on. And the weather is now turned to sweltering, so we get increased fatigue. So basically, everyone's going to be fucking exhausted in a fairly short order. There's already a lot of dead bodies. Great stuff. Unless you happen to be one of them, of course. So missile units just shooting wildly. It's a target-rich environment. We can't miss. Even the javelins getting on it as well. These guys are going to be racking up literally hundreds of kills. But considering, you know, they've got 4,000, 4,000 guys... Um, even even 200 kills a piece is, is not really going to cut it. We need more of that. Just piling on. Piling on the damage. However, I mean, we ha we've taken some losses. That's true. But they've all, we've almost got the same number of guys. And considering we started off on a 2 to 1... They started off on a 2 to 1 advantage. Um, that's, that's pretty rough for them. However, we are starting to run out of ammunition. Uh, I think some of our archers about, yeah, some of our archers have actually run dry, and uh, some of these slingers are starting about to get to about half, some of the other archers down to about half as well. Still, almost, almost hit equal numbers, which considering the 2 to 1 advantage they had, uh, pretty, pretty striking. They do have a lot of general units, though, so they do have, uh, a general unit. I can't. I don't know if this is actual general unit or just a spear unit that's been made a general. I think I probably it's a spear unit that's been made a general. It says that's 124, so I think that's probably doesn't actually have a proper general. It's probably just a, a sword unit that's being sort of like ranked up to a general for the battle. So it shouldn't be too difficult to kill. Ramesses is getting stuck in there. I don't even know if we can find him, to be honest. He's uh. So Ramesses' unit is the one in blue, I believe. I could be wrong on that. Yeah, I think he's the blue boys. He's the one with the banner. Because they've got axes, right? Yeah, they've got axes. So they're now equipped with axes, which means they are armor, armor degrading, I guess. Lots of damage coming in here, but our units are starting to suffer. You can see that you know, quite a few of them now getting battered. Uh, looking at numbers, we have managed to kill more of the enemy. Yeah, you see, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? I mean, our javelins are starting to run out. But again, they've killed, like, probably 250-odd apiece. And you can see the sheer weight, there's just the sheer number of bodies littering the ground here. It's literally a carpet of bodies. Lots of units starting to break and run, but we're gonna have. I think we're gonna have to throw in once once our missile units have run out of ammunition. I think we're gonna have to start throwing them in as well, to try and break the enemy, uh, because it's as our, as our missile units run out of ammunition, it means we're just gonna have to you know cut them down the old-fashioned way, which is gonna be slightly more bloody. Ah, so far so good. So looking at the rest of the map, I mean, it's it's very it's a very pretty map to be honest. Already my frame rate's got so much, but I really like the water effects. I think the water effects in in Warhammer are absolute ass. Uh, some of the maps, particularly, the water just looks fucking awful. Uh, but try, I mean, look at this, the ripple, the sun off it, it just looks gorgeous. I love that. I really like that. It, it, genuinely, the map looks fucking amazing. Uh, they've done a really good job there. I do think it looks, you know, it's, it's basically Troy, isn't it? It's basically, uh, it's probably some graphical upgrades along the way, but um, I think it's fairly similar to Troy. And it looks beautiful, genuinely gorgeous. So uh, really, really impressed by that. Victory will be my legacy can't quite see how everyone's doing but basically we've kind of got this this blob here this blob's the enemy 
And looking at numbers, we are slowly grinding them down, but we've run out of those missile units now. So we are, we're going to have to just send in our missile units as melee units. All of these guys have got like hundreds of kills. And I mean, there's just bodies littering the ground there, but we are slowly pushing them back. I'm trying to use the Medjay to like push the enemy back. Um, try and like create some space for us, but it's proving to be a little bit tricky to get that to work. Sending in the missile units. It's going to try and break them around, get them in behind. But to be honest, um, those, those guys probably not not the best at fighting, are they? We do have the Medjay Chargers here. I'm going to try and pull them out and bring them around on the flank because I reckon they can probably do quite a lot of damage. Oof, 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 the lag. To be honest, it wasn't that bad in the battle. This is particularly bad for some reason. I don't know, maybe a memory leak? I don't know, maybe I should restart the game. Either way, uh, yeah, so, it's, oof, yeah, that's, that's actually a lot, that's actually, this is actually a lot worse than the battle. And the battle, it was actually fine. I will not die for this. You are destined to die. I will be legend. They are too strong. So we managed to get the charges in there, janky as ever. And I say at this point, it's fine. Fine in the battle. The replay for some reason is just uh, really suffering. It's fine over there. It's literally just, literally just the battle. Apparently, it does not like it. it is uh, not super happy. Oh, it's getting, it's, it's better. It's got better. It's got better. There we go. It's fine. There we go. You don't look at the map as long as you don't look at the killing. That's what the, that's what the problem is. The Medjay um, charges, unfortunately, kind of take a battering there as a counter charge happens, and they start to get a little bit sad, and then they rout, but never mind. We're still trying to hack down the enemy. They're down to about... I mean, we, we've lost over a thousand guys, but the enemy has lost over three thousand, so, uh, so, you know, a sacrifice I'm willing for them to make. The gods have abandoned us! You are destined we to must die! Retreat. They are too strong! Slowly grinding our way through them. We're getting there. We're getting there. There's a lot of uh, units starting to rout. But uh, the enemy are proving to be a little bit stickier than I would have liked them to be. Uh, there's uh, still a bunch of units just running all over the place. Again, that carpet of bodies there. I mean, that's probably not helping my uh, my frame rate, to be honest. Literally just hordes of bodies. I mean, this battle is... What's that, like 7,000 guys? Easily, to be honest. Like seven and a half thousand. Is this donkey all that Egypt has to offer? Spare me your blaster. You are fated to lose. Balance of powers in our favor, and the enemy have dropped below a thousand guys. We're doing it, although, you know, a lot of ours is the archers. I think most of our front line have basically died. Uh, I think the Medjay Medj are still holding on. This is why you really need those Medjay boys. I know a few people might go, well, you just don't, you know, if you just don't recruit the Medjay, you'll have plenty of resources. And the answer is, yeah, but if you don't recruit the Medjay, then you fucking lose every battle, so. I mean, that's, that's a lot of dead bodies, right? That's a lot of dead bodies. A lot of sarcophaguses. It's uh, it's slow going now. We're desperately trying to still cut them down, but and you know we are winning. But we need to kill off the enemy generals. That's the that's the key. If we can kill the enemy generals, that'll be enough to break the rest of the army. And the rest of the army is mostly broken. It's the archers that have like thrown themselves in. Our archers have thrown ourselves in. Their archers have thrown themselves in, and we're just like grinding each other down now. We really need to kill these generals. If we can just finish off the enemy generals, that will break the rest of the army, of which there's, I'm going to be honest, not very many guys. We're down to 800. We're down to 1,500. 
What I really need to do is, like, get Ramesses out of this absolute clusterfuck, which is what I'm trying to do now. Bring him around the flank and, like, charge the enemy in the rear, because if I can do that, I'll probably do enough to kill him. Well, this guy was bald for a minute. It looks like he's bald. When you zoom out too far, they lose their hair. Oh, God. It's so... It's so close. What a, what a, what a grind this is. These, it's just because the enemy general's alive. Kill them. We got this. On the right, on our left flank. The Med J, what's left of them, are hacking their way through the enemy archers. It shouldn't be difficult for them. I mean, there's not very many enemy units left. If we can just... Like, I haven't seen Ramesses in fucking ages, which is probably... Uh, he's around... I mean, you know, they're usually the last ones to die, generally. But I can't... It's like, where's fucking Wally? So these guys... These guys are very, very tanky. Just need to finish them off. Okay, we're trying to pull Ramesses out of this fight. I don't know if Ramesses is actually there. Is Ramesses there? There's bodyguards here. I haven't seen Ramesses though. <laughs> He's probably around. It's fine. Shouldn't you be guys look, be looking after him? I'm just thinking, you know, bodyguard should be looking after Ramesses. I, I can see the bodyguard. I can't fucking see Ramesses anywhere. So we get the charge in on the rear there, which means these guys are now surrounded. And finally... They rout. It's within your grasp. And there we go. The enemy army is broken. We must leaving behind uh, quite the pile of dead. Glory is mine. Flawless victory there. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> Fine, we didn't die. Not everyone, anyway. Order. There we go. Didn't, the bold. didn't lose anyone. Took a settlement. Uh, what is this? This is a food settlement. Yeah. So we have a livestock pasture. Two, three, five. And is that it? Yep. Yep. It's the only resources we get is uh, two hundred and thirty-five food. So. Guess I'll grab that then. Chosen of Ra. Might be that the the Nile farms are probably you know significantly more foody. Beyond compare. I don't know. Ready for battle. I don't know. My name will be legend. These yeah, men okay. will fight for my cause. Good for you. I am unstoppable. Okay, we're gonna need to heal up a little bit because I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty well. Mm. Well, we'll heal up for one turn. Is that a, is that a settlement? That is a walled settlement, isn't it? Okay. Blessed by the gods. We can heal up for one turn. What can we I recruit here? The greatest to my cause. So I could like merge these guys. This is your chance for glory. And then recruit a couple more, just to refill. Refill my losses. I think is Destined probably for greatness. probably the only thing we can do right now. Uh, that's fine. We are going to have a look at some construction. Do we have anything here? So we got uh, happiness is it's going down uh, because raiding. If it wasn't for raiding, actually, though, people would be fairly cheerful. So could be worse. Could be worse. Uh, shall we get some? What do we got here? We got a wheat field. Okay, 305. Anything else? And a pig farm, which is another 170 food. But we need a wheat farm for that. And this has a woodcutter strip strict, so we can get what's this? Twenty percent wood, but only a total of forty woods. Um, seriously, forty wood, and then we can increase that by twenty percent. Uh, in okay, is the province, but still, forty woods not an awful lot. That's going to give us another. <laughs> Fuck's 
so little words. I just so I don't understand. I don't understand like the balancing of the resources in this game. It just feels really weird. I don't know. Is this just me? Am I am I being mad? I don't know. Like from, I mean, because I it's not like I haven't got many. I've got what like two two provinces under my control. Anyway, it's, it's Shemsuho. Good 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 times. Um, so we've now got four. Eight, not oh, four, five, six, seven. Eight. We've got eight. We've got eight settlements, eight settlements under our control, and I'm currently losing about 500 food a turn. I've got no stone. I've got 120 wood and 19 bronze upkeep. That's that's my total. I can recruit like trash tier units, and that's about, and that's that's still like blowing into my my resource uh, my resource Forging count. My Okay, we'll get a little, little bit of replenishment here, and then we're going to have to go to Hathor. So we can only get the Canite recruits who are... Well, they are ambushers. I don't know what that means, though. So... And they get like an ability they can use, so they can stay... Okay, because they can basically hide in, in terrain. There are also armor breakers. Which I guess these guys as well are. These guys have got weak. So the, the Egyptian militia are weak, have got weak figure, but their stats are just generally better. We've got more armor, more morale, more melee attack, more melee defense, and, and more charge bonus. Whereas the these guys just can hide. <laughs> but the they can do it all day you. long, baby. Which I guess is something. Um, right, so we've unlocked a whole bunch of extra mechanics, which is cool. Uh, so the first one we have is the power of the crown. So we can sort of assign ourselves to one of the courts. Uh, we need to have at least one sacred territory to be able to do that. Obviously, currently we only have the Egyptian, but if we, I guess if we didn't want to pick this now, we could pick it later. You can only pick one. So we will do the Egyptian. So the Egyptian uh, royal tradition. It gives us various different bonuses. I'm assuming once we are Pharaoh, uh, so we get a we get court and stuff, and the ancient legacies that that's obviously associated with what we can pick later, and uh, we get Pharaoh powers as well because obviously you know the Pharaoh was basically like Captain Planet, and uh, you get a bunch of crowns as well. Uh, so that's nice. You can get nice hats, and uh, you also get Egyptian legitimacy. So controlling sacred lands, owning mon uh, monuments, and obtaining victories. Obviously, it's different depending on which one you pick. Okay, cool. So we can see the current pharaoh, there he is, and we can also see the potential pretenders and what sort of influence they have. Now, once you have um, a set amount of legacy, you can actually start a civil war. I believe the Hittites started a civil war. So basically it's, it's you know, it's all, all go from turn one with those guys. Um, but the, these are your sort of like the pretenders to the throne, um, or could be if they wanted to join the civil war. I don't know if you need a certain amount of legitimacy to, to have a civil to join the civil war, or whether you can just do it. Whatever, fine, whatever. Anyway, uh, so we can see the you can see our legitimacy sources, but we get so twelve from from sacred lands and uh, four from our characters. We can join a civil war or claim the throne to equip crowns. So that's fun, and uh, we get some royal powers as well. So this feels very Stellaris, to be honest, in in some in some respects. But there's not much we can do here at the moment because we we start off with fairly low legitimacy and we don't have, you know, much at the moment. But that's fine because we also have the court. So the court is where we can now. Currently, all of these seats are filled, but we could we can still do stuff if we hold one of the positions. We get benefits. Um, however, you need a set amount of money to be able to stick yourself in. Currently, it's 808 gold, and we don't have 808 gold because we spent it on other things, so we can't do anything there. But we can still do various different things. So we can, like, make a request. Now, what this does, or, like, perform entry, which is pretty much anything we could do. So we have, um, we have court actions. Court actions allow you to perform various different things. Each one of these costs one, as you can see, one court action, but they also cost other things. So, for example... 360 gold for this one. If we assist, we'll get 120 regard with one of these court positions. We can use that regard to make requests. So, for example, we could go to the first commander and say we want some elite warriors. And assuming we've got 60 regard, we can do that. We want um, we'll have recruitment costs reduced by 25% as it activates after the current Shemsuho and lasts 
um, at year six turns. So that will get. So we need um, we need to be we need to have a um, a theme jig, a court action. That's the one, and also that amount of regard. That's how much it will cost. Now currently we have zero regard with all of these guys. We can do other things though. So we can like threaten, we can discredit, we can blackmail. And uh, we can perform other intrigues, like we can conspire, and we can assist, and we can gossip. So gossip is like a free... Basically, it just costs an action. It gives us a little bit of regard, so we can do that. Um, you can, like... Uh, what I don't... Like, there's there's some some cases where you will, like, get regards and then use regards to afflict that person with a, with a negative modifier. And that just... Uh, like, the regard just seems like a weird sort of... A weird sort of um, name for that mechanic, effectively. I would prefer it to be called leverage, right? If you had leverage, I think that would be a better thing. Because that feels more sort of like, you know, schemey, doesn't it? I, regard just seems like a weird mechanic, but whatever. Fine. Um, but you can see the benefits you can get. So you can you can plot. So you, oh, you can do plots as well. So your plots, your plots. Uh, you know, place further, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, we can't be Pharaoh, unfortunately. I would love to just name myself as Pharaoh, but you can't. Uh, so we can we can do plots. That's like threaten, discredit, and blackmail. That will give us uh, regards. It'll also reduce their legitimacy and give us legitimacy. We can also potentially kick them out of uh, their post. Although I would say that I have tried a threaten plot before, and all it does is kicks them out. It doesn't make you the new thingy magic. Um, that might have been because I didn't have enough gold. So, but that doesn't state it on the on the tooltip. So. I'm not sure, but um, we're going to start off by, I don't know, who's, who could we do? Connections. Uh, well, considering that I actually kind of want to go a little bit religious, I might do this, actually. So we'll do a couple of I gossips. I fellow Egyptian to be reasonable. Mm, yeah, sure. Um, so we'll do that. And then once you've got uh, one more, we can get piety. Because we're going to go for... The Ancient Legacy. So the Ancient Legacy is one of the best things about Total War Pharaoh, in, in my opinion. Now, this is a little bit... To be honest, they've got a little bit Stellaris in, in Total War Pharaoh, in that there's a lot of, like, customization you can do to your own faction to sort of, like, have... And I think this works, because it means that you... Each campaign is going to be slightly different. So you can pick one of these... One of these legacies. There's four Egyptian and two Hittite. Each of these gives you a different mechanic. So... For example, the Conqueror lets you, like, effectively target an enemy city and give you benefits, like, like you can spend gold to give yourself reinforcements. So when you take it, um, you'll get those reinforcements coming in, or you can, like, make holes in their wall, or you can actually burn, one of the, burn some of their buildings or something like that. Now... That's fine. However, I would say that it's against one settlement and it can take a little while to like build up that. You can only do one thing a turn. And I think it's like, to, to effectively, it could like take 10 thing, take ten turns to get you to a point where you can actually take the city. I'm going to be honest, it's never taken me 10 turns to take a city in Total War. Maybe the cities in Total War Pharaoh are a little bit, you know, of a harder nut to crack, but I doubt it. So I, it feels like spending a lot of gold to effectively take over a city, um, and also you can only use it on like culture centers as well. So you can't use it on all cities. So it's kind of like fine, but a bit limited. Um, you can get like resources for taking, you can like build up a, a certain mechanic and that'll give you resources for taking a city. I'm going to do a different video to show you all of these, but I'm just going to give you a, a short summary anyway, um, which is fine, but that's fairly limited. Um, the merchant is basically gives you the caravans mechanic from, from Cathay, uh, the Chaos Dwarves, and... With a slight difference in that it doesn't... I don't think it appears on the map. I haven't seen it anyway. And it's a bit more sort of like selling and buy. So you can basically put resources on the caravans. So you might put like a hundred food or a hundred stone or maybe some items like, um, you know, a weapon or some armor or a shield or whatever. You can send that to a, a, a specific location and then you can basically barter. So you might want to sell your food there because they want the food and they'll give you more value than you you know, sold the food for. That way you might buy some stone because they don't value stone as much so you can buy a lot of stone. Maybe you could, there's also like 
epic items you can buy. So you might buy like um, Thingy Majig the Shipwright, who you can either use as an ancillary or you can use as a bonus on one of your cities to give you like a benefit for, I think it's like 12 turns or something. However, once you've got to that location, you don't have to come back home. Maybe you've got lots of stone. You're like, well, I could send it over here and sell the stone and make even more money. So basically you can like send it around the map and then bring it back home to like offload all your shit. So you can basically like send it around the map, getting all the stuff, doing like wheeling dealing, being a bit of Dell boy, and then you can bring it back home and, you know, maybe you've made like shit tons more than you sent off in the first place. Pretty cool. And of course you can get like, like epic items and stuff, so you might like, buy an ancillary who might be quite useful for you later, or maybe you can find a really nice weapon that you can bring back, that kind of thing. The heretic I'm going to get to in a second, because this is one we're going to pick, and he's probably the coolest. The build is all about building monuments. Now, these are things, you know, things like the Great Pyramids and shit, right? So this is fine. The one thing I would say about this is the benefits of building the monuments are pretty meh. You can only build them in specific locations. Um, so far, the one I found is like an outpost. So it's an outpost location, so you can't build an outpost there. You build like a monument. There's about four or five to pick from, I think, and they take a huge amount of stone to construct and obviously because we have no stone i mean it's like four thousand five hundred stone i think to, to build to build like the base of this fucking monument um there's other resource requirements as well once you finish that you get that it seems like you get the benefits i've never actually built one because i can't i don't have the resources to build it even like we've got a 50 turn limit on this and even if i wanted to i wouldn't have the resources to build it but you can um build certain buildings in the province that the monument is going to be located which will then reduce that cost by half so, like, if you build, like, a stone thingy majig, it'll reduce that stone from 4,500 to 2,000, whatever. Something like that. I mean, even 2,000 stone would be too much. But you get the idea. So that's interesting, um, but a little bit limited. There's only five monuments. You need the province that the monument is going to be located in, and you need a shit ton of resources, and the benefits aren't that good. Meh. Anyway, so the heretic is the most fun of all of them, and that's because... Boom. Boom. So, we can establish the Aten, a single deity built of any two gods. All your shrines, temples, and devoted generals will be converted to Aten. Uh, gain favor with Aten to unlock more effects from other gods. Pick one of three effects once you reach a new level of favor. And we can retake the abandoned city of Akantenhenten and rebuild this as a gr the greatest pillar of civilization. So, it's a permanent choice. So... Depending on which gods we found, we can um, pick any of these two. So, for example, we could take... Um, we could take like so right so we could take Ashera here so this will give our shrines workforce growth and happiness uh upkeep uh, happiness uh, reduction in enemy profit if we pray upkeep reduction of this army prey duration plus two and influence plus ten for the enemy region um the devoted general will get a more melee defense and morale and influence so we can so we could do that we could go for like more movement restored after battle speed for units all that kind of good stuff all the, so all of these things we can basically pick two of these so we could pick like Ra and we could pick like um yeah so we pick these two. Our shrines will now give more money defense on recruitment, plus two. Workforce growth, happiness, food, recruitment cost reduction. Our prayers will do all of that stuff. And devoted armies will get more charge bonus, upkeep reduction, more melee attack, and more melee damage. That means if we have a devoted general, those are the bonuses they will get. But maybe we want to do something different. Maybe we want more melee defense, more melee damage. Basically, we just got to make our armies significantly more killy. Uh, lots of happiness there, um, some good bonus and prayer, all that kind of stuff. And depending on which gods you found, you could basically do whatever the fuck you like. Right, this is really cool. This is such a good idea. Um, prayer, so we could get more like, you know, raiding shit. That would be quite nice. Uh, we got more, so this is melee attack. So it's not huge bonuses for our armies there, but we get more sacking stuff. We go and pray, all that kind of stuff. I think we should go Ra, and I'm going to go Ashara, actually. I quite like this. So let's go with this. So we're going to, we're going to create Aten with Ra and Ashara. Now, we've got now different levels to reach. So each tier we get will increase, well, up to tier three will increase the benefits we get. And then when we get the tier uh, four, five, and six, and seven, we will um, basically get other abilities to assign to Aten to make everyone significantly more killy. 
isn't that fun? So currently, like, we're getting so much happiness, workforce growth, melee defense and recruitment. Uh, if we pray, we're going to get more missile resistance, morale, less happiness in the enemy in the province. We get desert um, attrition reduction. And we get more influence for this army. Melee attack, melee defense, melee, uh, melee damage, morale, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but we can now, like, beef that up even further. So, so, if we have a look at uh, uh, local deities there. So we've only got a 10, but we can devote a general. So we're going to devote Ramesses. Yes. And that guy, who whatever the fuck he's called. So we now are significantly more killy. All of our shrines have now been upgraded to a 10 shrines, which means if we have a look at this province, we should find that everyone is ludicrously happy because we've got a shrine here and they fucking love shrines. Who doesn't? Uh, so, if we look at the old outposts here and we go to the shrines, so we've got the Shrine of a 10. So, workforce growth plus 11. Plus, it was 3 previously. So, we now get 260 growth per turn. This is insane. And there's, like, loads of gods. There's, I think there's, like, 20-odd gods. 12, 12 to 20. Uh, fucking different numbers. 12. There's, there's a roundabout, I want to say, 12 gods. Tw I think it's 12. Um, you can pick from. So you can take any two of those and mash them together into one, which is fucking amazing. It just makes it so much... It's just that that legacy is so interesting. So you, you can do whatever you like with it. It's great. Genuinely great. So really, really like that. Uh, you want all of my bronze in exchange for food. No, get fucked. So I think that it, it's, it's, it's the best legacy by far. Uh, wow, you really want to give me food in exchange for all your bronze, don't you? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Destiny bound. Ugh, you're raiding me. Where the fuck are you? Where are you? Come here. Where are you? Where? Oh, you're just you're just over there. You're just raiding me. No one cares because we've got shrines. We've got shrines, bitch! No oh, one cares! Glory. Everyone's like, yeah, Prove but shrines, baby. And they're not wrong. They are Blessed not wrong. Okay, you got a little sit. Get the fuck in Fate there. Me. Swear to God. Okay, we're gonna build build some thingy majigs. All of our guys um, now have insane melee defense, which is fantastic. I love it. And we will continue to siege. I should go and pray. I never pray. Uh, I never have the time, but you know, it's one of those things. Uh, we've got a court action available, so we are going to go and make... No, we're going to perform an intrigue. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to I make a request, and I'm going reason. to like... increase my piety. Like so. May the gods of Egypt smile on my generosity. So that's going to give me a little bit of piety there. Just beef that up. Obviously, you know, the more we build, the better, but we're kind of running out of stone and food. I What's... fight for it. Egypt. Right, this is a gold mine. Right, gold mine. I kind of want a bronze as well. I can I take everything, like, if I take everything east of the river, and then I can worry about, you know, I can worry about purple guy in a minute. I grow stronger each day. So, we are laying siege. To I believe battle. if we go and have a look, nope, here, here. Yeah, right. Yeah, you can see none of these guys are taking attrition, so I don't know if there's like a set amount of time you need to lay siege before they take attrition. Uh, two turns before they will start running out of supplies, but I'm going to be honest, I don't think I've got time for that. Uh, could build a siege tower? They do have archer. I don't know if they get f do they get fire attacks. Do we just go for it? Ask. Ah, go for it. Absolute worst case, everyone dies. Now, it should be said that sieges in Troy and the Pharaoh are quite brutal affairs for the attacker. They make the sieges in Warhammer look like child's play in comparison. Oh, look, they've got some, some goaties. 
Hello, goatees. Oh, so it's, it's, oh, I just can't get over how good this looks. Like, it just looks really nice. They've put a lot of work into making the settlements look, you know. Look really, really, really pretty. And I, I, I fully appreciate the work that CA Sophia has done in making the maps look nice. So I'm attacking this section of the wall because I'm going to be honest, I probably was a little bit blasé about attacking the settlement as it stands. And I probably should have been a lot more prepared. I guess that does make the Conqueror legacy maybe a little bit stronger considering just how nasty it is to take these cities. Like, this is against the probably a middling garrison. If anything, just a base garrison and a fiddly little army. If you had a full garrison and a full stack in here, this would be untakeable by two shitty armies. You would need some really good armies to, like, take this on. Where were they hiding? And even then, you'd probably have to, like, properly siege it down. Like, it would be a real fortification for you to take. So, I guess in that case, the Conqueror Legacy may actually be really, really good. Um, my only concern is that you're never going to have that. Like, that would be unlikely. But... You know, not unheard of. I have found units trying to use the... G I mean, good on you getting that, that, that banner up there. Holy shit. Uh, units trying to use the, the the ramps and the siege equipment a little bit, a little bit janky. They tend to be a little bit hesitant about using it. I would say, you know, this is early access and... Well, not even early access. It's like a preview build. And, uh, you know, there's more work to be done on it, obviously. However, having having done a few preview builds now, I'm not going to promise that'll get fixed or anything. It seemed to be better when, like, I was telling units to, like, climb the ladder. I felt it, it seemed better when I just told units to attack the units on the wall. They seemed to be better at actually getting up there. So um, I think that's probably a key. When I did try and get someone to attack the gates, that seemed a little bit janky as well. So, I don't know. Something to keep an eye on. So, of course, uh, taking a city in Troy was a friggin' nightmare. I mean, admittedly, you did only have... Uh, you didn't even have siege towers, did you, for ages? Yeah, that was one of the top researches you could get. Siege towers. Um, but this, you do have more siege equipment here. So that will make life a little bit easier, I guess. We've got we've got four four ladders, and that is providing us with you know getting enough people up here. I, this is not my first attempt at this battle. I tried another one and got absolutely annihilated. So I'm trying it a little bit differently here, and uh, this one worked out. I normally don't rematch battles unless I absolutely have to. Normally, when you know. I would say 90% of the time I rematch battles, it's because I've, like, forgotten some unit. They start off in the middle of nowhere, and then I go, oh, shit, yeah, I forgot to deploy them, and then I go and rematch it. Um, but I allowed myself this rematch because, you know, I'm still learning the game. Like I was saying, I've been playing Total War games for ages, and that's true, but everyone is slightly different, and frankly, coming off Warhammer, the sieges are always, like, just a fucking nightmare in comparison. Which is good, because it should be like a mass, like, a, a fortification like this should be an absolute nightmare to, to take, shouldn't it? It should just be an absolute, it, it should just be a real obstacle in your path. I'm going to be honest, the first time I got absolutely just a shit kicked out of me, so, uh, I think it's mostly because I was trying to get units up the ladder and it really wasn't working very well, so this is when I tried just the, the right-click approach. I tried that towards the end of that battle and that seemed to work better. But previously, like, guys were just, like, I was getting one unit up to the top of the wall and the other guys, like, like, pooling at the bottom, getting shot, and that wasn't working very well. So we've managed to get, you know, really the key is here getting a critical mass of your lads up on top of the, top of the wall. Once you've got a critical mass there, you're doing okay, but to start off with, it's, uh, it's a little bit dicey. I've got to be honest, that jump is a little bit friggin' dicey. Look at that. I don't know. I'm, you know, at my age, it's, it's, it's tricky getting downstairs in the morning. 
Taking that jump, kill me. Oh, war, it's a young man's game. That's why you've got these cleft backs. Anyway, we've got a lot of naked Egyptian boys flexing in front of these slightly more heavily armoured Hittites. But, you know, we're getting we're getting the critical mass up there, you can see. We've got lots of boys up, we're getting the arrow fire in there. I think having the war on this L... 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 L thing? L... Dis, direct... What do, we, what do we call this? L... Link? L... Thi Anyway, the point is that we can shoot at these guys with less chance of hitting our own with own boys. So this is actually working out much in our favour. Obviously, if we're shooting up at the wall, it's going to hit the wall a lot of the time. And most of the time, it's then going to hit our guys. Uh, but being able to, like, lay fire down on the, on the guys as they try and come up the wall towards us, much easier. We're now bringing the javelins up. I've been kind of keeping them as uh, in my back pocket. We're now bringing them up. And we can see they're getting more and more lads up there. Looking at numbers, um, well, they've lost... I mean, we've lost about 400 guys. And uh, they, in return, have lost roughly 800. So we're getting there. If we can get the javelins up and onto this size of the wall, my plan is to like lay down some javelin fire. And I think that might do it for us. Getting some of that missile fire on uh, these guys who are sort of retreating or defending this section of wall that I'm not attacking, nor can attack because there's like some rocks in the way. So I couldn't even attack it if I wanted to, but I'm glad they're sitting back there and uh, just slowly dying. Uh, apparently there's some guys, they just got to the top of the ladder and was like, just, I mean, they just took a look at it and went, nah, you're right. You don't deserve to be remembered. Harsh. So we do have a general unit here, but it looks like he's uh, almost dead. This general unit as well, taking about half damage. They don't have any other, other, uh, we've managed to route quite a few units, actually. I mean, I say, this, this army was not the biggest. We actually outnumbered them. Um, had the garrison outnumbered us, this, this battle would not have been, uh, not have been a victory. We've got Ramesses now clambering up here. I don't know if he's actually at the bottom. It'd be nice if we could actually, like, pick him out rather than having to try and spot him where's Wally style. He's probably around here somewhere. Are you around here? Anywhere? Yeah, he's probably in there somewhere. Okay, we're slowly winning this engagement. We still have... Some guys currently just running straight into a wall there. Good stuff. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Oof. And then running away again. Not entirely sure what that was about. That's fine. I will be legend. Victory is within your grasp. Yes. Yes, it is. So get the javelins finally over to uh, over to the side here. Trying to draw them out of the main sort of like engagement there. Spare me your blaster. You have captured the enemy tower. We're still taking a lot of damage here in this battle, though. I mean, we've taken a, we've taken a bit of a beating here, and the enemy aren't really. I mean, I don't know why they're trying to defend the tower here because it's not really a good. I mean, we'd, we'd be we're able to do a lot of damage to them here. Um, we're really able to like pepper them with missile fire, pretty much unopposed. And it's raining now. Oh no. This will reduce missile. What does it do? Accuracy and reload time. Right, yeah. So, you know, kind of a double-edged sword. They've obviously got their own missile units. We've got our missile units, but we've got more of them. But we've used most of the ammunition, to be honest. So at this point, it's not really affecting us. It's just making us rain slick, isn't it? Our javelins, or their, their beardy boys. Don't throw javelins yet. I haven't told you to. Oh, one general is dead. The other one is almost dead. What I might do is actually pull the javelins off the wall because there is a little, uh, there is a little uh, doobie what's it down there because they actually have to use the, the exits so they will actually go for this door and come out down here. I don't know if they actually climb. They just re they just spawn at the bottom. That's probably for the best. Just the old old stair teleport. And then we'll get them to knock out these archers who are causing us some slight issues. But of course, they are less accurate and also uh, take longer to fire thanks to the rain. 
However, the javelins are such close range, I don't think it's necessarily going to affect them all that much. One of your units has and their looks like we've done it. We have now won the, the city. Taking a lot of losses in the in the process, though. Now, I will say Destiny. sieges in in Troy and seemingly in Pharaoh too. Quite uh, yeah. quite brutal. I mean, we could vassalize them, but I want my stuff. Established order. Vassalizing doesn't seem to give you their resources. Oh, we can convert this to a good one. Let's do that. And we get a gold mine as well. Um, I mean... It gives us 75 gold. Or 59? Why does it only give us 59? Is it because of... Is it influence? It is influence. Okay, so that's giving us minus 25%. Okay, that makes sense. Well, it, it kind of makes sense anyway. That's fine. Good. Okay, right. So. So. We've knocked out these guys. That's good. That's a win. Uh, we do have recruitment hall, which reduces recruitment costs. I mean, that's not really the big issue for me, to be honest. I might... I might knock that down. Uh, but this will give us access. What does this give us access to? Well, let's find out. Ramesses, the bold. So it's going to give us uh, Habiru Raiders and Shasu Tribesmen. Now, the Tribesmen are fine. So they're like Tier 2. They cost about twice what... Well, not twice. They cost more than the, the Militia. Um, but their stats are uh, wait. So these guys have got less health, but they've got more melee attack, more damage, and more charge bonus. Right. Cool. Um, not a hundred percent sure why I'd pick them. <laughs> Maybe they've got better like. Maybe they've got better, like, abilities. They're expendable. Okay. They're armor breakers. Everyone's an armor breaker. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, not entirely sure about that. So, but maybe getting some axe boys would be quite good. You know, I could get rid of some of the... Like, the lower Egypt militia seem to be fairly more... They're, they're, they're more tanky. Uh, so there's a Kmart recruits. So that's Habiru. What's the difference between these guys? These guys have... The fuck is the difference between Right. So these right, so these guys are absolute trash, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of those. Boundless ambition. And I'm gonna get an axe boy, because I mean I feel like, you know, axe boys are just the best boys, in my opinion. In my opinion. How's how's the pillars of civilization holding up? Okay, we're 490. We're just just about fine. We could make that, we could improve that, but as you can see, like, I've now got 784. I'm actually doing a lot better um, than I have done previously, because I genuinely had literally nothing previously. Um, I might actually Weakness will not be tolerated. do that, then swap some units over with Ramesses, so we can get rid of some of his, his shitty boys and get some better boys in there. I think I want to take out, I mean, what I do need to do is kill, where's this arsehole gone? As he wandered off. This guy. I need to kill this guy. So I think that's probably our next... Our next Chosen job. That's our next job. What I do want to do is... What have we got? It's a way station. So that's... Fine. That is... A Shrine of Ra. Let us... Convert that building. It's going to cost gold. For greatness. That's fine. Got a little court cool action. We're going to keep, like, uh... Can I only ask once? It's only been used this year. Right. Can make the construction cost less. It is my duty as an Egyptian to aid my peers when I can. 
Yeah. Uh, what does the Vizier do? Gain three court actions till the end of the turn. Or assassinate. Gain a free use of assassinate until the plot. So we could stab someone. I mean, I do like stabbing people. Egypt stands stronger when her children are united. Love assass- lo lo love stabbing people. Assassin okay, there's your army. Right, I need to kill that army. Where are you going? Okay, well, if you're leaving, that's actually better for me, because I can take all that. Oh, you're going to- are you going to resettle that ruin? It's very, uh, civic-minded of you. A little bit on fire, but that's fine. No, you really want to give me food, and you really want all my bronze, don't you? I am unstoppable. Yes. Yes, you are. Okay, let us... Hard march ahead. Yeah, I don't really care about these Blessed guys. So we're going to... We're going to march over here. Still making a little bit of gold. What's the... The public order here is... Not great. There's a lot of workforce. I need to spend... I need to get some people doing some shit. Ideally, stuff that's not going to be very expensive on in stone. Because I've got 418 stone. And that's... That's basically it. So... Is there anything that doesn't cost, like, 200-odd stone? This? Nope, can't build that. That's not a thing. Uh, no, everything costs, like, 200 stone, and I've kind of run out of stone, because I don't have any stone. I could try and trade for some stone, but I guarantee no one has any. Uh, no, I want... doesn't want stone. Wants food. Wants anything? In the name of duty. Okay. Good things always happen when we put our minds together. Well, I go grey. No, I don't. I want. If I say two hundred, and what do you want? You want bronze. Two hundred. I stand correct. Oh, you've only got you've only got three hundred twenty-three stone. Okay, I will. Five turns of that. Certainly. That will keep us ticking along for the moment. Which means I can potentially build like something that's going to make someone happy. There's a happiness there. Need a happy building. Need to make people happy. Because currently, they pretty shitty. Um, more influence would be good as well. So let's build a sarcophagus. Because people can look at that and go, ooh, that's nice. Um, yeah, the 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 workforce is... Jeez, oh, I mean, what... What... I, I feel like what happens when you've got... I mean, I guess I guess having, like, everyone being happy because you built... Like, these guys, fucking over the moon. Uh, these guys, pretty happy. So basically, all I need here is, like, some... So we've got one there. So that's six happy. So it's going to go down by 25 because... Is it because of influence? No. Oh, it's, only, it's not minus 25. It's going to go down by 7. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, no, that'll be alright. Yeah, it's fine. It's not, it's not the end of the world. We good. We good. I knew I could trust a fellow Egyptian to be reasonable. Yes, and um, we also learn about other plots. So we've got uh, the fe who doesn't show up here, but I think he is supposed to be the f yeah. This is the f this is fair. He's threatening apparently uh, his vizier, which is probably a good. I mean, I I'm kind of in with that because um, f viziers are just the worst. They never trust the vizier. It's just a, just a, just the worst thing. And we can actually like increase that. Um, we can also get more stuff with a pharaoh, but the fact he's not in the box always means I completely forget that is a thing. But otherwise... Peace is a delicate balance. But when brothers turn against each other... Yeah. 
Virtues are abandoned. And bloodshed is inevitable. Oh, the Hittite Civil War begins! There we go. They're all kicking off. It's all kicking off. The future of Egypt. Right. I need me some stone. Forging onwards. So I'm heading this direction. And you, my little friends, are going to go and trade me some Medja units. Eager to fight. So follow me. No rest. Correct. Okay, I'm going to take them, and you are going to take, uh, I guess, those guys. We must bite our time. Indeed, Chosen right. Slightly better. I mean, we're still fairly beaten up from that that siege because oof, sieges are rough. But uh, we survived it, and we're getting some gold now, which is nice. So got some gold, got some gold coming, got some stone coming in at least for the moment through trade. Although we're losing, uh, well, you know what? I mean, bronze is I think reasonable level, I guess. I guess that's fine. I did sort of rush bronze production, so we're making what's that? Three hundred thirty-three. I mean, destined for greatness. I'm kind of making do with some shit tier what units, but. Uh, Considering these guys, I mean, it goes up to tier 5, Blessed and these guys are tier God. 3, so I don't know, like, what better units we can... We can expect. Regulars. I guess it's the regulars that we're after, so, like, tier 4. So these guys are, like, the Shidan Spear Bodyguards. They cost 27 gold, 31 bronze, 190. It's weird that, like... So the Elite Medje are kind of... Oh, the Elite Medje are kind of like the... The best boys. So these guys are going to cost like 31. They're 260 food, 34 bronze, 30 gold. I'm not going to lie. These guys look fucking legit. But they are. They're, they're your killy boys. These are like your mid tier ones. Like my J Spearman are tier 5 as well. Got the nice chariots there. The Shidurn Raiders. So, like. Your bog standard guy, your sort of like your mid-tier guy is gonna cost about 20, 20 to 20 to 30, roughly, bronze each. So I worked out somewhere that a bronze settlement can make about 310, which means each bronze settlement can roughly support about 10 guys, roughly. Which doesn't include bonuses. So if you stack bonuses in here, obviously that's going to be slightly better. If you get other bronze, like I guess you've got bronze bonuses here as well. Uh, so where are we looking? Probably production, I'm guessing. We're going to have, yes, yeah, so we can get another 20% there. I like the bonuses on recruitment. I really like that because you can like turn a place into like your recruitment ground. And that's, that's always quite fun. Um, so you can get another like 20% there. So that's not bad. Um, you can also get like... You can also get, like, guys that, like, the little ancillary guys that can increase bonuses, increase resources in, in regions for, like, I think it's, like, 12 turns, I think, which is quite good. But still, you're still looking at, I want to say, a bronze settlement per, like, one, maybe, maybe stack, maybe? ish and food settlements i mean currently our food settlements are like two three one food two three one food 590 food there I mean, we could upgrade that even further oh we need to do i need to oh do, do i not get that is that building is not available you can you need to convert it to one of your before you can upgrade it i mean i don't need to upgrade it though so do i still get those bonuses i'm guessing so i need to check that so we get 12 from buildings one, two, three. I don't know, does it include the outpost as well? Because that's six. That's six. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 
and happiness was 12. So I'm assuming that doesn't actually do anything now. Which is a shame. But I'm guessing that's because it's a Grand Temple of Yam and we're now the heretic so we get the Atan bonuses. I'm assuming that's the case, but look, we're almost we're almost at uh, the, the third tier. So then we get like a whole bunch of extra bonuses that makes everyone extra killy, which is fantastic. Good. So we're going to go capture some stone. That's going to have to wait until next time. Though. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.